Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. Till now, we have been using idle IDE in order to develop our Python code. Now, the reason behind why I was showing to code in Python using idle in the first few videos because I wanted that you get familiar first with Python interpreter. So now whenever you want to test some functionality in Python, you don't need to open any IDE or any editor. You can just open your terminal and then test that functionality until you wanted to test something terminal or Python interpreter was okay. But when you want to develop a big project using Python, we need to use some kind of IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment in order to develop such kind of projects. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PyCharm on your Windows 10 operating system, which is the most popular IDE today used by developers to develop Python code. So let's get started and let's see how we can install PyCharm on our Windows 10 operating system. So open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. So JetBrains is the company behind this IDE. And this company, which is JetBrains, is famous for making very good IDEs. So JetBrains has also created some other IDEs like Android Studio, IntelliJ IDEA, WebStorm, and many other IDEs which are popular between developers nowadays. So we are going to just click on this link. So now we are inside this JetBrains.com website. And here you will be able to see this logo PyCharm and you will be able to see this download button here. So I'm going to click on this button which says download now and then you will be redirected to this page which is for downloading PyCharm. So here you can select your platform whether you are working on Windows or Mac or Linux. And what we want to download is we want to download the community version of PyCharm. This community version you can see is free and open source. So you can download and install it with no cost. If you want to download the professional version, then you need to pay some money to JetBrains in order to use it. And as soon as you click on download button, this download of PyCharm community version dot exe file will start so i will wait for this file to be downloaded so now this exe file is downloaded on my windows operating system so i'm going to double click on this exe file and i'm going to minimize the browser and now you can see pycharm setup wizard has been started so here you just need to click next and this is the location where pycharm will be installed on your system so it will be installed inside your c directory then program files, JetBrains, and then there will be a directory created, which will be called PyCharm Community Edition, whatever version you have downloaded. So I'm going to click next. Now on this next window, you will see two options. One is to create a shortcut. So we are going to choose this option, which says 64-bit launcher. Now the second option here is create associations. And I'm not going to check this checkbox because I don't want that on my computer every .py file to be associated with the PyCharm. So I will leave this unchecked. And the next option here is download and install the JRE x86 by JetBrains. There is no harm in this. So I'm going to check this checkbox and I'm going to click next. And now I'm going to click on the install button. So this is going to start installing PyCharm on my Windows 10 operating system. So I need to wait for some time until this installation is finished. So now the installation of PyCharm Community Edition is finished on my Windows 10 operating system. And you can also see there is a PyCharm shortcut which is created on my desktop. Now I will check this checkbox which will start the PyCharm IDE and I'm going to click finish which is going to launch the PyCharm IDE. Now for the first time when PyCharm starts, it will ask you this question, 
whether you want to import any settings from the previous installation of PyCharm. We don't have any previously installed PyCharm. So we are going to just leave this as default, which says do not import setting and then click OK. And then you will see this license terms and conditions window. If you agree with all these license terms and conditions, then just click accept. And one more window appears here, which is for data sharing. So I'm going to just say don't send. And now you can see PyCharm IDE has been launched. So for the first time, it will ask you which UI theme you want to use. You want to use the Darkula, which is the dark theme or the IntelliJ theme, which is the light theme. So I'm going to choose this light theme, which is IntelliJ theme. And then I'm going to just click on next. And on this next window, you will see some featured plugin. So for now, I'm not going to install any of the plugin. I'm going to just say start using PyCharm, which is going to start the PyCharm. So now PyCharm IDE has been started. So let's create a new project here. So I'm going to click on new project. And now we need to give the title of this project and PyCharm will ask you where you want to save this project. So I'm going to just give the name to my project. So let's name our project as hello world. And then I'm going to just click on create button, which is going to create our Python project. So now you can see PyCharm IDE has been started. So you can see the first thing you will see here is tip of the day. I'm going to just close this tip of the day and I'm going to maximize my IDE window. And you can see our project is shown on the left hand side. So let's create a Python file and we are going to just uh, run some code using this Python file. So we need to just right click on our project and then click on new and then choose a Python file from here. And now we just need to give the name to our Python file, for example, hello, without any extension. So you don't need to provide any extension when you choose this option, which says Python file. And now click OK. And now you can see on the left hand side that this file is created, which is hello dot py this dot py extension is added by pycharm for us and now on this editor for example let's print hello world once again so i'm going to just print the hello world you already know how to print hello world right and once you have written your code you just need to save your code by pressing ctrl s and now you can just right click on your file and choose this option which says run hello so I'm going to just click on this option which says run hello and you can see this output is printed on this run window. So this is how you can install PyCharm on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.